Welcome to Coin Telegraph Japan. All right, <laughs> we have a celebrity right now here on this channel. Uh, okay, so we have Pro the Doge in the house, and he's the one that made millions of dollars in the last bull market from Dogecoin and became superstar in the crypto industry. And then he's on every major non even non crypto media as well. So uh, it's an honor to have you. Man, so thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so you know, I go by Pro, Pro the Doge. People know me as the Dogecoin millionaire. And um, yeah, I've been featured pretty much everywhere from CNBC to the New York Times to the Business Insider to CNN to uh, pretty much everywhere uh, <laughs> on, on in the media and all over YouTube too. I've been on the biggest finance YouTubers channels as well, talking about Dogecoin. So. Thanks for having me, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, thanks so much for coming. So, uh, okay. So in the first, this is the second part of the video. And the first part of the video is actually on Coin Club and where we actually talk about, you know, the pro's life and how this crazy story happened and, you know, uh, how this uh, Dogecoin changed his life. But in this video, I want to talk about um, the future and what you're going to do um you know for the dogecoin because the context is you've made so you put like a hundred you know hundred eighty thousand dollar and yeah. in two months it became three million dollars and yeah. then right now market crashed so right now it's sitting at like how much can you a, a little below a million right now little below a million dollar so okay so first question is um how do you feel about it like are you freaking out or what? Um, the thing is this, the thing is this, and, and, and you know, I'll be honest, because I tell people this all the time. When I first started my investment, mm -hmm. I had the mentality that I was going to hold on to this for at least a year, a year, two years, three years. You know, every time I go into an investment, I think about where this is going to go from two to five years from today. Mm -hmm. Right. You never want to go into an investment with short term, you know, mentality. So my mind was, this is going to take a while to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Like I knew I was going to be a millionaire. I thought it was going to take me, you know, six months, a year, two years. So the fact that it happened in 69 days in two months, I didn't expect that to happen. It was a surprise to me. I was shocked to know that, you know? Yeah. So if I think about it, I'm actually probably one of the most bullish people on dogecoin like i believe <laughs> the greatest things are gonna happen to dogecoin <laughs> yeah and if somebody like me who thinks how incredible dogecoin is and where it's gonna go in the future mm -hmm. if if dogecoin exceeded my own expectations of it and happened sooner than i believed it would how much bigger is is this really than i even think or i even know Hmm. So, it, so if it surpassed my expectations, it could be way bigger in a year from now. It could be way bigger in two years from now. So the fact that I, I come into this, like it, it's, it, you know, it comes down, it comes down to having discipline. It comes down to sticking hmm. to the plan and not wavering. Right. Um, in retrospect, you know, when it was at 3 million, could I have taken out a little bit of money? Sure. Maybe I could have. Right. But that three million could have easily gone to four or five or six million. And if I had taken all the money out, I would have missed out on another three million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And people would have looked at me like, oh my God, you you could have had six million if you just waited. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So right. so the, the best way to go about it in my eyes is just give it time, stick to the plan, go into it, you know, with an exit plan, with an idea in your mind, mm -hmm. and just stick to the script and, and, and hold on long term and see what happens. So I, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really stressed over, you know, where it's been, where it is now, because these things happen, right? I understand the volatility, the volatility that comes with Dogecoin. I understand the volatility that comes with cryptocurrencies. Yeah. So I know this is bound to happen. Before I hit a million dollars, when I was at like 600, 700, I saw my account climbing mm -hmm. 500, 600, 700, 800. In my head, I was like, this is going to drop down to 200 any minute now. It's mm. going to drop down to 300 any minute now because I understand the fluctuations. Yeah. But sure, it kept going. Went to 2 million, went to 3 million. You know <laughs> what I mean? So 
you can't try to time the market yeah. and try to dictate when to sell, when to buy, mm-hmm. because you're going to lose out money in the long term. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And on top of that, nobody's taken into consideration the taxes, right? So let's say I was to take it out at $3 million. I'm paying half of that in taxes. I'm paying 40% in taxes if I take it out under a year. If I wait a full year, that 40% turns into 15%. Mm. So I just believe in the long term you know, a uh, place that, that Dogecoin is going to be at and where it's going to be in the future. So I'm holding on. I see. So are you still buying the dip also? I'm still buying the dip. Oh. Since since I purchased $180,000, mm-hmm. I've probably bought back a, a, like maybe another $30,000 in, uh, you know, worth of Dogecoin, I believe, thirty or 40000 worth of Dogecoin um, mm-hmm. throughout this year uh, since the dip. So right now I have a little over $200,000 in. Oh wow! Okay, so yeah. so you mentioned so you talk about you know it's my it's long term uh, at least a year because of the tax complications and you know you talk about like importance of like having exit strategy right like what's your yeah. what's your, what's your exit strategy if you so can my share? exit my exit strategy is one of two things so either I wait a full year mm-hmm. and I take out ten percent at the end of the full year and then keep the rest in there mm. or Dogecoin takes off in the next few months and goes to like two dollars and fifty cents, <laughs> and then I make ten million dollars. Yeah. I'll take out ten percent of the ten million dollars and have a million dollars, and then leave the rest in there. Wow. Okay. So even if it goes to like ten million dollars, then you're gonna just let it grow. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take wow. out a million. Yeah. That's all I need for uh-huh. right now, and and I'll let the rest keep going. Wow. So like in the future, you're thinking about like a, my, hundreds in the future, of millions. I think Dogecoin is going to go to $5. Dogecoin is going to go to $10. You know what I mean? <laughs> at, yeah. at, at $10, at $10, I have $40 million. Yeah. So, Jeez. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But look, you know, like all this, you know, like based on my understanding, like you got into Doge with, you know, through Reddit and all this hype and you know excitement right yeah. but like the what about other coins for example shiba shiba inu or like akita or like there's so many like a dog dodge kind of you know like a hype coin right like are you yeah. also into those or like you don't really care i consider those coins poo poo dookie coins <laughs> well, what people like to call shit coins that's what they are um why is when you, that? When why you is go that? into when you go into a crypto yeah a big a big thing you should look into and you should consider is how long has this coin been in existence mm. right did they just create it a few months ago did they create it a year ago like usually the newer coins they are very like they're subject to rug pulls right and if yeah. you don't know what a rug pull is that's when somebody creates a token right creates a coin and then everybody who created it has a lot of it and as soon as it spikes up, they take all the money out and everybody else loses their money, mm. right? That's what a rug pull is. So there's a big difference between a cryptocurrency or a coin, right? There's a big difference between a coin and a token, mm. right? So Dogecoin is actually a coin. The only way to get more Dogecoin is to physically mine it. You have to mine the Dogecoin to get more of it right? Mm -hmm. A token is created on top of a blockchain. So it's either created on top of Ethereum blockchain or, you know, any other kind of blockchain. And the person who creates the token gets all of the tokens in the beginning, right? And whoever whoever the developers are, or the, the people that are investing in it, they all get the biggest percentage of the coins in the initial and when it first for when it first starts right Mm -hmm. so you have all these really big whales in the beginning so when when the coin starts becoming popular and people buy into it and buy into it and buy into it the price starts to skyrocket right and as the price is skyrocketing it's very easy for the people who got in at the beginning to just take all of their money and run Mm -hmm. And then you lose all your money because Mm -hmm. then it's a pump and dump, right? That's what they call pump and dumps, and then it drops down. So there's a big difference between Dogecoin 
and all of these poo poo dookie coins coming out, <laughs> trying to copy Dogecoin, like Shiba Inu, like yeah. Akita. Like, these are all tokens. None of these are actual crypto coins because you 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 don't get them by mining them. Mm -hmm. You just have them in the beginning of the creation of them. See I what see. I'm saying? Yeah. Interesting. So you talk about this like a token allocations and all the whales and you know that can that can cause like pump and dump, right? But so Dogecoin distribution also kind of skew towards like a cup, you know, like a several, right? The yep. wallets and they, you know, what, what's your opinion on that? So those wallets, for the most part, I believe are exchanges, oh. right? So so somebody like Robinhood has to buy a ton of coins in order to sell people the rights to those coins, right? Yeah. So if I buy 10,000 Dogecoins in Robinhood, they have to have that available for me, mm -hmm. right? So the biggest wallet in that holds Dogecoin, about 20% or 30% of Dogecoin, I believe that's Robinhood. And so the other major wallets mm -hmm. are probably uh, exchanges like Webull, or exchanges like that that also hold coins in order to sell them to their customers and their clients. There might be a few out there that are actual individuals or or actually you know people, but you know I, I feel like the the biggest ones out there are actually exchanges mm. and not you know people. I see. You know, like I I I mean everybody talked about that right because you know even like Elon said like you know oh I heard this like the whales are. Uh, exchanges or Robin Hood or whatever then actually you know when he actually tweeted like maybe a month maybe two months ago then he the you know CZ from the Binance commented or uh, replying to uh, Elon's tweet saying that so I just checked check this uh, this specific whales wallet and yeah. activity doesn't look like exchange so that kind of like got me nervous about it so have you do you know that yeah. did you know that I, I haven't heard about that, but I, yeah. I feel like I feel like whether or not it's Robin Hood, they're not going to admit that it's them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. they're not going to uh, uh, like admit or deny that it's them. Mm. The thing is this: we'll see whether or not it's them once they open up their wallets, right? Mm -hmm. We'll see that thirty percent go down to twenty or ten or fifteen or whatever when everybody has the rights to take their coins out. I mean, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Yeah. As, soon, as soon as Robinhood opens up their wallets, I'm taking all 4 million of my Dogecoin out of there and I'm going to find an exchange or find a platform that gives me interest back by staking my Dogecoin so I can make passive income while I hold it in their exchange. Yeah. Their platform. Right, right. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, by the way, I yeah realized uh, um, it's been uh, a good amount of time that you know, um, we are taking. So uh, I kind of wanted to <clears throat> close this conversation, but there's so many actually. Doge, Doge is not really available in Japanese exchange for many reasons, but there's uh, people who actually secretly, you know, like buying a lot of Doge and there's a huge community. So maybe uh, as a cl closing remarks, can you uh, give us uh, your visions and your passion? Um, the, yeah, so that so that yeah that you can share with the Japanese community. Yeah, shout out shout out to Japan, shout out <laughs> to the Japanese community. I love you guys. I grew up on a lot of things that were originated in Japan. You know, I'm a big fan of Pokemon that oh. came out in Japan. I'm a big fan of uh, of Super Mario Brothers, and you know what I mean. The the like like the video games was a huge thing tv shows you know i was telling you this before but uh power rangers was a spin off of you know a japanese show and there's so much that the culture over there has given us you know over the years the food the food is incredible like i love everything about japan the the clothing you know what i mean the mm. styles of clothes the brands the fashion in japan i love every bit of it and so i would love to go to japan someday and um, I have so much love for the Japanese culture, the Japanese community out there. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know, thank you guys for for having any interest in Dogecoin. You know, hopefully when it comes to the exchanges out there, you guys can go ahead and buy some Dogecoin yourself. Maybe I can make a trip out to Japan and we can have a meet and greet or something or we can have, you know, some discussions about Dogecoin and I can come out there and talk to you guys about it and, you know, enjoy the culture a little bit out there with you guys and you guys can put me on to some new things 
um, yeah, I'm just excited. And, you know, I appreciate Japan and the Japanese culture so much. Yeah, please, uh, please keep in touch and then give us sure. update on every bit of excitement about Dogecoin. It's, uh, you are the, you're the best person to hear from, so. <laughs> For sure. And then let, let me know when this goes up, too. Like, I, I want to go watch it and stuff. Yeah, sure. I will. All right. Perfect. Thanks so much, bro. And uh, Thank you, man. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Cool. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.